Boosting domestic demand has been one of the key tasks for policymakers here in Korea, especially after last month's fair disaster dented consumer sentiment. But Professor Robert Barrow at uh, Harvard University says it may not be necessary for the government here to step in and pump in money just yet. Hwang Jie tells us more. Exports have been Korea's traditional growth engine, but balancing it with domestic demand rose as one of the key agendas for the Park Geun-hye administration to boost growth. The Korea Development Institute has even pointed out that the sluggish domestic demand is largely the reason behind the nation's strong current account surplus. One renowned economist, Robert Barrow, however, stands against the argument, saying it's not that big of a concern. With the uh... Korea having become so rich now, I would expect imports to be catching up with exports and exports and imports to grow um, pretty much uh, together. He added that the deadly ferry disaster in April will have a temporary impact on the domestic economy and that the nation's pace of economic growth is strong enough. Those, Professor Barrow said, all take away reasons for the government to intervene. But still, the recent growth around 3 4 percent is, is pretty good in a world perspective. So, again, I don't see this as a rationale for government intervention uh, further into the macro economy, for example, in the form of further monetary stimulus or fiscal stimulus. Over on the recent strong Korean won trend, Barrow said the government allowing further appreciation of the exchange rate is reasonable. And I would allow further appreciation of the exchange rate, which I think has appreciated to some extent uh, over the last uh, few years. But he went on to say that the current level of the won against the U.S. dollar hovering around the 1,020 level could be the point where the local currency stops strengthening. Hwang Jie, Arirang News.